Okay, hey y'all, I'm Maddie Duvall. Um, I'm an eighth grader in Miss Nessary's English One Honors class, and my Genius Hour project was on grief. All right, so tell us a little bit about what your um, inspiration for your project was and what your initial research question was. So right for the beginning of school, um, one of my best friends lost her older sister, and then um, I had a friend move back into, back into town who had just lost her mom, and it took a toll on me and made me kind of have to step back and learn how to almost like be friends and have conversations with those people just because of their emotions and the things they were facing. So my initial question was, what was the best way to help teens cope with grief and loss? Okay, and what did you learn through the process of your research that led you to kind of where you're at now? So I talked to people from all backgrounds of life, from counselors to people who have just lost a loved one to parents to grandparents and they all told me the best thing that they have found is talking it out either if it's you know sit down and the goal is to talk and you just you know cry or maybe a hug and hey let's go talk but talking it out is the best way to just release your emotions when you're grieving and did your research that you did online and through other sources did that confirm what your interviews had said it did um i talked to some psychology professors at Clemson and at USC and they both said that that's what they have found. All right so where are you sitting now with your Genius Hour project? So I'm so excited. I got all my verification and I have created the buddy system which will be implemented through our guidance office. Um, so basically I've partnered with Young Life, um, a Christian based organization that partners with the schools and so if guidance sees fit for a student, they will fill out a form about what they're going through and then a young life leader will fill out a form and a permission slip will be sent home with the parents to kind of give the student a buddy um, to come to lunch with them or to come talk to them during cat class just to, you know, maybe talk about things because they don't have the best home life or they don't have someone they feel comfortable talking to. This young life leader has passed a background check, which is verified by the school district, and they will then, the papers will get some home, we will keep the permission slip here on file, and they will have their buddy to talk to about their things. So what kind of hurdles did you have to overcome to implement this new program? So I had to meet with our guidance office and our principal, Dr. McDowell, um, they were all so very understanding, but it was hard having to jump through the hoops. Does the district office um, permit the permission slips and the background check that Young Life leaders have gone through and partnering with Young Life and um, the Google form for them to fill out who has who's the owner of the form. But finally, I have gotten all of my clearance, all my permission, and I'm so excited to get started and change the lives of students. All right, awesome. Um, what sort of advice would you give to students and teachers who might be considering implementing a Genius Hour program in their classroom? Dive in head first. Um, don't be afraid. I was kind of like hesitant, like I didn't want to have too much of a loaded question and then talk to my peers around me and my question was the, was the most loaded, but I just kind of dove in and I took experiences and stories and put them all together and just want to be able to help the people around me that I walk the halls with every day. Awesome. Thank you, Maddie. You're welcome.